Hey YouTube, what's going on? This is Desmond under our video again, and I'm taking the video outside. It is very beautiful out, so I thought it'd be great just to take a, uh, you know, just, just take a video out here. It's real nice out here. I'll show you a little bit out here, just so you can see the backyard. Yes, we need to have our lawn mowed, but yeah, that's, that's my backyard. You know, today I just want to make a video about evolution because I've seen a video it was by uh, Chad the Berean and he was uh, you know confronted by some evolutionists who were, who were saying that we have a common ancestry to plants or we have uh, we have a relation to plants uh, I just want to say that's the most absurd thing I've ever heard in my life <laughs> uh, not, not so much because of that's not because I, it's new to me or anything like that because I've, I've heard it before but it's just the fact that um they say we have common ancestry to plants. <laughs> um, I mean, there are people who say we have common ancestry to apes, and that was a little bit more plausible because you know they've say we got like uh, so so many similarities. That was the best thing they they could have came up with. But the fact is, that we're still two different uh, 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 creatures. We're two different uh, beings. Uh, you know, one is made in the image of God and the other one's not, you know, it's just, it's there for, you know, for the glory of God, it's there to, you know, just to admire the handiwork of God, you know, he used a similar blueprint and, you know, created, you know, created us, created uh, animals, created plants and such, that doesn't mean that we're related because we have similarities, uh, I also understand that, uh, uh, I believe it was uh, the apes. They have uh, 23 chromosomes, was it? And we have 24. I kind of forgot the numbers and all that sort of thing, but there was some sort of similarity with the chromosomes, and they were saying, well, we are related because of that. Well, if that's true, then we are distantly related to dogs. We are distantly related to earthworms, uh, cockroaches, plants, uh, birds, uh, dinosaurs, alligators, I, it goes on and on and on. I'm going to show a few clips of, uh, you know, the evolution of certain some animals, including the human race. Now, after taking a look at that, um, <laughs> I mean, sometimes it's just so crazy what people believe. I mean, they say that the belief in God is insanity, but, but I disagree. I mean, the belief that we came from nothing, evolved from a microscopic bacteria into the complex, the complex beings that we are today. It's the most craziest thing I've ever heard in my life. It makes more sense to believe that we were created by God above in His image. That makes a lot more sense because the way the earth works, the way the universe works, uh, it is just so perfect. I mean, chaos does not create order. It does not. If you uh, take a broken watch, put it inside a box and shake it as many times as you want. Let's say you shook it for like a, uh, a gazillion years. Let's just say you shook it that long. It is still going to be a, a broken watch. The only thing that's going to change is uh, the amount of cobwebs that are inside. Uh, and perhaps the box would deteriorate it and all that sort of thing, but... Nothing, nothing will cause that uh, broken watch to be fixed unless you take an intelligent mind and repair that watch. Uh, if I, you know, put a uh, put a piece of writing on paper, uh, put put some writing on some paper, um, just leave it there. And let's say a thousand years later, uh, some some of my descendants or whatever they find that letter and they wonder who who made that. Maybe it just randomly evolved. That would be the most insane thing ever. And the reason why is because we know that writing comes from the intelligent mind. Information comes from in here. It doesn't come from a natural process. It doesn't come from just random things. It doesn't come from chaos. It comes from order. It comes from an ordered mind putting the information together and making sense out of it. That actually makes more sense than saying that, well, it just randomly happened, we happened by chance, there is no purpose to our design, we're just here to have fun, reproduce, and die. I mean, that's basically what they believe. And also, if you believe in evolution, that means you have no sense of morality, at least you shouldn't have no sense of morality, because morality would be... Uh, an illusion. You can say you believe in morality. Uh, I'm not saying atheists don't have morality because I truly believe that every human being has some sense of morality. Uh, 
But if you believe in evolution, then you cannot believe in morality at all. You can't believe in good and evil because good and evil does not exist. I mean, if evolution is true, then we came from bacteria. There was no evil then. There was no good then. There was no good and evil now. Um, I mean, where do you get your sense of morality? It's just because that we say it so. So, in that case, morality is still but but an illusion. I mean, you can't say this is right, you can't say this is wrong, but atheists say this all the time. They say, well, this is evil. They say your God is evil. What is evil? It doesn't make any sense. Uh, I mean, unless you have some sort of uh, ultimate good here and ultimate evil there, you, you don't know what good and evil is. So in other words, you have to know... You know, is there Satan? Is there God? Uh, if there is, then this is where your uh, concept of good and evil came from. Um, I mean, God. I mean, God shows us what absolute good is. It's all throughout the Bible. Uh, the Ten Commandments is written on every man's heart. Uh, the law is written on every man's heart, and so that's how we know uh, what right and wrong is. You may have said, you may say, well, there are religions way before the Bible has ever been written that talks about, uh, the similar pre, uh, uh, principles, but then the Bible already states, well, God already states that, uh, you know, the, the principles were already written on man's hearts. Uh, the idea of, uh, good and evil is, is not, not, not just an idea, but it's a reality. It is what, uh, uh, steers us one way or another. Um, uh, I mean, and, and also, you know, another thing about good and evil, um, if you do not believe in good and evil, can I go out here and murder somebody? You would say, yes, you could. You could go murder somebody, but society, uh, would, you know, would look down on me. Society would uh, say I'm wrong. But, but what makes society right? Nothing. Nothing makes society right or wrong. Therefore, I mean, Morality is nothing but an illusion. Your concept of morality comes from God. It's the only thing that ever makes sense. I mean, if it comes from God, that means there's an absolute moral standard, which means God says, well, lying is wrong, adultery is wrong, uh, stealing is wrong, uh, uh, coveting is wrong, worshiping other gods is wrong. Uh, all, you know, the things that he says is wrong is, is there's no, no getting around it, no matter what you believe. You can say, "Well, I don't believe in God." That does not um, that does not uh, take away from the fact that God exists. That God created a moral standard that you and I both know. Uh, you cannot say morality is uh, subjective, subjective because you do not live like that. Because if morality is was subjective, then you would uh, do whatever you want. You know, you are free to do whatever you want, whatever your mind. Uh, you know, uh, thinks of. Uh, society has no bounds on me. I mean, I can do whatever I want. Uh, I am a free human being. I have my own mind. Society does not tell me what to do. I don't even care what society says. Uh, if I want to steal, I'll go steal. Uh, by the way, I don't steal. <laughs> but um, I'm just saying, though, if if you believe in this sort of thing, there is nothing holding you back from doing whatever you want to do. Uh, this is also true for when you see people out here having sex with just every single hot thing they see. They see this hot girl walking across the street, they're like, oh yeah, look at that. And then, you know, they go have sex with her, they go have sex with the next girl, and all this sort of thing. It's, a, it's just a re redundant thing. And what this does is cause more consequences, which is AIDS, uh, any other forms of STDs, uh, pregnancy. Uh, and all these risks, not just physical risks, but also emotional risks, uh, mental risks. And uh, this is what the belief of evolution does to people. It totally frees them from their moral uh, compass. And they are free to do whatever you want, whether it's good or evil. But YouTube, that's all I'm going to say. Peace out. Holy nation sanctified, let this be a battle cry.